Hi everyone, George here from Stress of Sampling. Let me welcome you to the next chapter of our Extreme Percussion series, Djembe Extreme. The name speaks for itself. Once again we decided to go crazy with percussion and recorded multiple djembe ensembles and solo drums. Djembe Extreme features almost 300 different playable instruments, made of playable techniques for djembe ensembles, a six-man ensemble and a trio, and djembe solos, with different instruments ranging from 15-inch to 5-inch djembe. As our other percussion libraries, Djembe Extreme relies heavily on the Extreme engine. If you are not familiar with it, let me show you how it works. It's really, really simple and easy to use, giving you amazing results. When you open the patch, you will see the window showing the three microphone positions to the left, the initialize, save and load buttons, integrated help and reset round robin buttons, and most importantly, the zones of the instruments, a total of 12, and three buttons for their quick sonic settings. The library was recorded in Sofia Session Studio with three microphone positions. This is the same space where we recorded our other choral, percussion or orchestral libraries. Let's start with the microphone settings. For ease of use and to spare your workstation, all our content is condensed into three microphone positions. Close, Decca and Ho. Which combination is the most suitable one depends entirely on your preference. Here's how the individual microphones sound like. You can adjust the sound anytime by tweaking the individual microphone volume or the individual microphone stereo spread. It is important to also point out that this microphone mixer controls all the samples that you have loaded up in those 12 patch zones. Individual zone mixer settings are available when you open the zone settings. Now, speaking of those zone settings, let us first load up some instruments. In order for us to do this, we have to click on any of the zone buttons at the main page. So, let's click on zone 1. You see that now the GUI changes to another page with a preset browser, EQ settings, zone mixer settings and round robin settings. The browser is very, very simple to use. To the left you have all the main categories and once you click on any of them, you can see the corresponding instruments. So let's go to the Ensemble Percussion and then load up Low Center from the Ensemble 6 main articulation folder. All these are multi-sampled with multiple dynamic layers and round robins, meaning different variations of the same sample. You can see how many round robins are recorded in this field at the top right corner. And not only that, you can see which one is being played. And if you dislike the sound, Clicking on the number will disable the sample. You have a simple EQ mixer to further scope the sound. Volume settings, separate microphones and one fader for the entire zone. And panning. You can discard the settings if you went too far away from the sound you liked when you opened the zone. 
just to know that this goes back to the previous state of the zone settings after they were closed, so if you have already made some changes, it will keep them. You can of course clear the entire zone as well. We've shown you how easy it is to create a percussion template. You can do the same procedure for all 12 zones that are mapped on the keyboard with different colors. Once you go back to the main page, you can further tweak the sound by using the pitch, transient attack and transient release controls. Have in mind that while the pitch can be applied independently on the same articulation, the transient controls get applied to all of them. Let me explain this. I will load up three times the same articulation hit from the solo 15 inch djembe and it will tweak the pitch differently for all three zones. You can hear how different the sound becomes and how useful this is for creating new sample material. Now let's tweak the transient controls. Notice how they will be applied to all three zones simultaneously. And finally, once you're set with ozone mapping, you can save and load this as a template. Useful about exchanging the instruments between projects and also while collaborating with other artists. We've already created some presets for you in the data folder. Feel free to browse. Now let's listen to some of the sounds included in the library. We hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Cheers.